Hey, it's David. Welcome or welcome back to Cross Fitness, helping men and women get in the best spiritual shape of their lives, one workout at a time. Quick video here that I'm calling Five Steps When You Don't Know What To Do. Hey, listen, we've all been there. What, what do you do when you don't know what to do? Man, I hit that spot here just this year. And it's like I hit a mud hole and I was just grinding to a, a, a slow crawl. And I didn't know what to do. So I was on my prayer path and I'm just putting this before the Lord. Lord, I do not know what to do. I don't know what to do. I would just say that over and over again. And then some thoughts flooded my mind. And um, I got five thoughts and I worked those thoughts and I'm working them a little bit right now. And I'd like to share those with you. So what do you do when you don't know what to do? Five things. Number one, stay faithful to your current commitments. Okay. All right. Well, we know that you got to, if you're employed, you got to go to work. You know, you, if you're a parent, you got to take care of the kids and, uh, and all of that. Just stay faithful to your current commitment. Secondly, don't start anything new. Don't, you know, don't, don't start a whole bunch of new podcasts and all that kind of stuff. Don't, you know, join another, you know, group or two. Just don't start anything new just for this parenthetical season what to do when you don't know what to do. Stay faithful to your current commitment. Secondly, don't start anything new. Just pause, tap the brakes. Call, call a moratorium on starting anything new and even purge some things. For example, in my case, I cut like 15 podcasts out of my, my weekly schedule. Okay, here's the third thing. In, activate some level of fasting of food and media. And it was the podcast thing. And, you know, I wasn't binging on, you know, uh, Dirty Jobs or Modern Marvels or YouTube short videos or anything like that. You know, I was just trying to activate fasting of food. That's very helpful. Don't forget the food to whatever degree and level you can do it. Do that. Here's the fourth thing. And that is I coordinated caring and critical conversations. Okay. I've got some people in my inner circle that are trustworthy and reliable. They've proven that over a long period of time. And so I coordinated, I took initiative and I contacted them. I set up the calls. I set up the coffees at Chick-fil-A or whatever. And I had the conversations with caring people. These are people that care about me, that I care about. I know that they love me. And the critical conversations, I invited them to, you know, ask them the hard questions. Point out what you're seeing. Call me out on something. What are my, what are, where are my blind spots? What am I missing? I don't know what to do. What am I missing here? What's your perception? What's your perspective? What are you seeing that I can't see? And then number five, the last thing, I'm just going to say a line and I'll explain it and break it down. It's, I'm just saying, um, you know, keep your head down, keep your hands clean, and keep your mouth shut. Keep your head down, keep your hands clean, keep your mouth shut. What I mean by keep your head down is not like I'm downtrodden, discouraged, and depressed. No. I'm like a, a, you know, a, a fullback that the quarterback hands the ball to, and I'm just grinding forward. I put my head down and I just run into the traffic, knowing I'm going to get knocked on my butt in three or four yards, but just grinding forward, you know, one unglamorous, controversial day at a time, man. And so keep your head down and just one day at a time, one foot in front of the other. Break it down hour by hour if you need to, moment by moment if you need to. Then keep your hands clean. That's what I'm saying. Stay away from sin, particularly sexual sin. Don't get on the internet and do pornography. Don't get on the internet and binge in, in, in nasty places you know you don't need to be. Keep your hands clean. And number three, keep your mouth shut. You know, just purpose in this season when you don't know what to do to listen more than speak. Ask more questions and give more answers. Journal, okay? Uh, so, what do you do when you don't know what to do? Let me review. Number one, you stay faithful to your current commitments. Number two, don't start any new commitments. Number three, activate fasting of media and food on some level. Number four, coordinate caring and critical conversations. Number five, keep your head down, keep your hands clean, keep your mouth shut. Okay, well, that's just a thought. Maybe that'll help some of you that are in a pinch point in your life and you need a breakthrough, you're not quite there yet, you don't know what to do, well, why don't you start with, with one or two of these points? It may be helpful to you, okay? I hope that does help and you're encouraged a little bit. 
and have a plan of action for the next right thing. For now, I'm David, your virtual mentor, remind you that I'm always for you. I'm never against you. Have a great day.